Okay, let us discuss 2.45. This question says, calculate the heat capacity for a ideal gas in polyprotic process PV n is equals to constant. Adiabatic exponent of gas is equals to gamma. So what are the things that is given to you? So you have been given the gas is ideal and the adiabatic exponent gamma is given to you and the equation of process is PV n is equals to constant and they are calling this process as polyprotic process. So this process is basically polyprotic process. Are you getting? We want to find what is the heat capacity for this process. So we have to find heat capacity. So let us find heat capacity for this process. You see we have already defined heat capacity C is given by dq by n dt. And now dq is equal to du plus dw we have already said divided by n dt and du is n c v dt n c v dt plus dv is p d w p d v divided by n dt so this becomes n dt goes so c v plus p d v by n dt this we have already explained many times so c is given by this expression so c is given by this expression now only thing is I have to calculate this term P dV by N dt. For that we have equation P V N is equals to constant. Are you getting? So what we want to do is we want to eliminate P and dV and we want to express both in terms of dt. If I can do that that's fine. So let us see if I differentiate this equation. So let us say P N V to the power N minus 1 dV plus dp v to the power n is equals to 0. v to the power n minus 1 goes so n p dv plus v dp is equals to 0. And now I have ideal gas equation p v is equals to n r t. So what I want I want p dv in terms of dt. Are you getting or not? So let us say I have ideal gas equation PV is equals to nRT. I can differentiate this equation PDV plus VDP is equals to nRDT. So this is equation 1 I have. This is the equation 2 I have. So this is a general procedure. You will always differentiate one time equation of process, one time equation of ideal gas and then you can calculate from here so I have two equations. I have to eliminate VDP because PDV I want in terms of DT. So VDP is, VDP can be written as from here, NRDT minus PDV. Are you getting? So VDP from 2 I can write. This is NRDT minus PDV. If I plug in equation 1, so this is my equation 1. So equation 1 I will have n p d v plus v d p is this n r d t minus p d v is equals to 0. So let us take this that side. So we will have n r d t this is equals to 1 minus n p d v are you getting. Now p d v is now we have n r d t divided by 1 minus n. Now we got what we need? We need P D V as a function of N R D T. Here you have. So P D V as a function of D T. So let us say I plug the value of C. C is C V plus P D V by N D T. Are you getting? C is C V plus P D V. P D V is N R D T divided by 1 minus N. So check your copy. You will find same thing. C is C V plus P D V by N D T. So this is P dV divided by N dT. So N goes out, dT goes out. So we will have Cv plus and Cv is also written as R by gamma minus 1 because gamma is given to you divided by R by 1 minus N. 
so i can take this is the lcm r minus 1 gamma minus 1 and 1 minus n also and r is common so i will have here 1 minus n plus gamma minus 1 so 1 1 goes out so i will have gamma minus n so you can write r gamma minus n divided by gamma minus 1 into 1 minus n so this is the heat capacity for a polyprotic process so you see whenever you have finding the heat capacity you can use a one good idea what you do is so whenever somebody says calculate the heat capacity first you find this expression and once you have found this expression what you do next is you write equation of process differentiate that find equation 1 you write ideal gas equation differentiate that one get the equation 2 and from these two equations basically you eliminate pdv in terms of dt are you getting so what we are saying first to differentiate the equation of process then you differentiate the ideal gas equation and from these two equation eliminate pdv and you put pdv in terms of dt and then you simply cancel the dt dt in this case i have cancelled this dt and this dt and i am getting the heat capacity for this process so when somebody says find out the heat capacity for for, for the process you follow the these steps first differentiate the equation of process second differentiate the ideal gas equation now eliminate pdv in terms of dt find pdv in terms of dt and then cancel dt dt you will get the answer we'll discuss the next problem i think all of you have copied this one please do fast if you have not copied then 